rooms. This very open room. Yes. Welcome to the Garden of Madness. One of the areas that we'll be going to and from off screen all the damn time in this game. Well, the enemies, like, they're crawling right out of the floor. Yes, Une's. Une is actually one of the, is actually one of the more one of the more interesting bullet souls to, to pick up. Sadly, I, uh, this is another one that I won't get till much later. Do I mean? Do they get? Do they get bigger if you leave them alone? Uh, they spawn more of themselves. Well, that's annoying. Treebeard, what are you doing in my Castlevania game? <laughs> Trent, actually. I understand why you want to call him Treebeard, but no, he's a Trent. I thought Trents were supposed to be benevolent creatures. Um, not really, no. Trent, uh, Trents are supposedly protectors of, fo of forest and woodland areas. Not necessarily benevolent protectors, but... But if you leave their shit alone, then they'll leave you alone. Yeah. These appear to be possessed tree beards. Yes, possessed tree beards. So this must be where the wizard wants to go when he's done with his experiments. Yep. But who is the wizard? The wizard we will never meet. Although we'll but meet one of his friends. The demon guest house. Yeah, uh, we'll be going back to the Garden of Madness later, but right now I want to act. I want to activate a particular thing. Are we and holding I have to go a reservation the guest for you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you, Gerda. Also typos. Well, what the shit, Gerda? I'll slap you with it. Every spelling error you put on this, right through the internet. Now the Claymore killed that thing in one shot! Yes. Did you get a Claymore upgrade? No, I did not get a... Um... Actually, yeah. Yeah, I'm using the, I'm using the Falchion now. Uh, I... Off-screen, I grinded for a Warg Soul. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I put that... I'm pretty sure that I ended up, uh... Uh, in... At some point, but I'm not entirely sure where. But... I Is missed that... one of my call-outs, maybe. Anyway, I ground, I ground up for a Warg Soul, and the Warg Soul allows me to upgrade the, the Claymore into the Falchion. The enemies always give the same amount of experience every time you kill them? Yes. Another pointless room! Not pointless, no. They use those rooms for a transitioning into a uh, for transition effect, and for loading the next music track. Oh. Yeah. Well, you could... Well, I mean, I guess this is a Nintendo DS. I don't know how effectively it loads. Yeah. And corpse weed. Corpse weed? Yes, corpse weed. Yeah. That's actually a real thing, you know. Yeah. Or the the corpse flower. <sighs> I dislike what is in that room. Not because not because not because of uh, what's actually in there, but because of what it signifies. The plants are exploding! Yes, the plants are exploding. Man, I cheese myself I cheese myself out of a out off of a food item from Metabolus. It's like every enemy in this game is filled with nitroglycerin. Almost. There are several enemies that just, you know, collapse like the golden. Oh, one thing that I wanted to mention. The uh Catabolus, you know, you see that you steal that you see that metal hunch on their back? Yes. You can ride that. You mean, like, stand on top of it and take no damage? Yeah. Well, what would be the advantage of that? Um, there isn't really one, but it's just something, it's just something cool. And that was a Mandragora. We'll need that soul later, I'll get it off screen. Yes, the screaming plant. Yorick! Kick a skull like a baller. I don't think I ever show that one off. It seems, like, what? Can you kick skulls at enemies? Yes. Is it useful? No. Well, what the shit? Uh, yes. Doppelganger is an amazing soul if you're if you're going to do the uh, boss the boss rush stuff that's post game related. However, I don't ever use doppelg the do the doppelganger advantages. I I have no problem pausing the game and switching between the soul sets. But wait, what? Is, I'm sorry, I blanked. Doppelganger. 
Doppelganger gives you the ability to switch, uh, switch between uh, soul and equipment slots on the fly. Oh, cool. It is a very, very powerful soul if you know what you're doing with it. Unfortunately, yeah. I don't care. Well, why would they call that Doppelganger? Uh, plot reasons, actually. Oh, oh god. Is that a harpy? No. Although harpies are in the game. That is a that is a Ryakuda. Quite literally, quite literally a Thunderbird. Thunderbird, Malcolmbird, Thunderbird, Malcolmbird. Yes, I end Another up grinding for Mandragora off screen. Way later. The, the Dark, Dark Chapel. Chapel. Uh, this is the area that we'll end up going to and from. Well, maybe not the most, but it feels like the most. I like the music in this part. Yes. Actually, well, no, let, let me just say this right now. A lot of the music in Castlevania rings right with me. Uh, I love the way that it's it's energetic and it, it's it's a looping track, but that's okay because it, it's I could I could deal killing baddies all day listening to music like this. Sounds epic as hell. And here we have the first appearance of Witch. Witch actually had a very interesting drop in Aria. Here, however, she lost that drop. You couldn't reach Excalibur. And that's not Excalibur. I think that's actually Fragorash or uh, maybe Estoc. Well, he had to pull the sword from the stone. The Dark Magician Girl. Yet another witch. This is my favorite grinding room in the game. You see these ghouls here? They spawn infinitely. And they drop rotten meat. <laughs> rotten meat? Yes. Rotten meat is one of the best healing items in the game. That's disgusting. Oh, the whole reason the whole reason why is because it, it combos with a particular soul. Uh, the ghoul soul. Once you have once you have acquired the ghoul soul, you can actually eat food that would normally damage you. Oh, and rotten meat turns out to be as powerful as a high potion. Which is probably why they want you to get the demon soul in the first place, otherwise, because that's a pretty significant perk. Yes, that is a very significant perk. Here we have Ghost Dancer. I hate I hate Ghost Dancer. No Wait. dancing in the chapel? It's not it's not the dancing in the chapel that I hate, mind you. I hate the fact that you're pretty much required to get a full set of nine of Ghost Dancer souls. Let me make something perfectly clear to you, is I am indifferent to those things which you hate. I know, but I I, I despise that particular. I just I really do despise that particular thing, because the whole reason why you need non Ghost Dancer is because a Ghost Dancer in in this game gives two luck and then gives two luck per soul per uh, iteration of its soul that you have, and soul and souls cap out at nine, and you need the bonus luck for later soul grinding. Can you get hurt by that arrow that was just, like, dipping towards the floor? Yes. However, we also get one of my favorite bullet souls, the Elmar Sniper. How many different bullet souls are there in this game? Um... I don't know the exact number, but it's more than 50. Jesus. So every playthrough is... can expect it to be different, then? Yes. Or at least, at least the first half of every playthrough. After a certain point, I run, uh, after a certain point, I end up going, uh, going and purposely getting a uh, couple of souls that I really, really like. Let me establish why I found that the dancers clashed with the environment. If this was like a ballroom where there were like chairs in the back and wide floors and wide rooms, then I would get it. Now there's a fucking gigantic knight suit of armor that's not doing anything. Um, you say that, but that suit of armor is 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 needed for an upgrade later. The great armor soul allows the falchion to go into yeah. great armor, to go into the great sword. Yeah. <laughs> you hit underneath his sword. Yeah, a lot of the larger enemies actually happen to have overhead attacks that you can dodge. Yeah. God damn it, Valkyrie! I despise Valkyrie in this game too. Not now, I I get the Valkyrie because it looks like an angel, but the dancers like. It does, because I, I, I don't know, I, I kind of take a, I almost take offense to that. I'm, I'm a cattle lurker. 
I don't I don't hate uh, Valkyrie because she's here. Honestly, I love the fact that she's here. I hate Valkyrie because she has a level three soul that's required that's required for the uh, upgrade after Great Sword. It's a pain in the ass to grind. The enemies do get stronger as the game goes on, right? Uh, we get different enemies actually, and we get different uh, versions of similar enemies. Oh, okay. Ghosts will unfortunately never will fortunately never get uh, any stronger. However, we uh, we will be getting into Medusa heads. <laughs> And here is Tombstone. You thought he was just a background object, didn't you? <laughs> Tombstone actually no. has one of the best, uh, one of the best enhancements <coughs> in the game for later, and particularly for climbing the Cursed Clock Tower. It's a Castlevania game. I'm not spoiling the fact that it has a clock tower. The bells ring when you jump on them. Yes. Also, one of the bells in here actually has a hidden item. Unfortunately, we cannot get it yet because we're missing another ability. They're playing the, in the key of E, if I'm not mistaken. It sounds like the intro, the intro to uh, uh, Metallica's fucking uh, For Whom the Bell Tolls. Almost, not quite. I wanted to say earlier, I wasn't sure how I felt about a treasure chest coming to attack you because you haven't had to open any treasure chests this whole time. Uh, that's true, but that's mainly because I skipped the room where the first treasure chest actually spawns. Watch out for the tombstone, it's gonna get you! Thanks, uh, thankfully the claymore makes quick, the falchion makes quick work of the, of the tombstone, but still, tombstone has one of the, oh, has one of the most important enchant souls in the game because he, uh, his enchant soul grants immunity to petrification, and dear god is that needed. Jesus, you're already a level 16? Um, uh, mainly because I ended up grinding to get my falchion. I did a jump the fuck cut there. Is that? Oh. I went back to the room, saved. Open sesame. Oh no. He's not very good at Castlevania games, is he? Is that Dimitri? Yeah, that's Dimitri. Yeah, they're setting a. You're, you're gonna kill this guy pretty easily. Yep. Not as easily as I would like, though. What? I love it how he introduced himself to Soma, even though we already knew both his first name and his last name. Yeah. So yes, Dimitri has the ability to copy magic attacks, which makes him ah, very similar to Soma. Of you. So when you're fighting him, he adapts his fighting style according to what you use? Uh, yeah. You could say that. Is that is that not a natural desire? Is that so wrong? Refining my power will finally be 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 be. To sum up, Dimitri oh, is a dick right because now. he's power hungry and curious. Oh, this guy would piss me off. This guy would this guy would puffle my jigglies like nothing else in video games. <laughs> he's just making. Fountains of blood come out of this guy. Now what I did there is I hit him with the skeleton bullet soul. Whatever bullet soul you actually hit him with is the bullet soul that he will end up using against you. He doesn't even try to block your claymore attack. He just stands there and takes it. Well, oh, well, that's the thing about the skeleton bullet soul. The skeleton bullet soul, whenever, whenever Dimitri casts a, a monster ability, he ends up stuck in that particular spot for a while. It's why, it's why him using Malachi right now would actually be really difficult for me, because I would have to jump over Malachi and then hope that I'm, I'm in range at, at, at the right time to hit him. Now, see how he's laughing at you all the time. That would bother me during the boss fight. If I lost to this guy, I would have been swearing up a storm. Thankfully, assuming that you have at least a couple potions on hand, Dimitri, you should not actually lose to Dimitri, especially after, especially after you hit him with the skeleton sword. Well, that was easy. Yeah, Dimitri is actually really easy. Dario is almost as easy, but Dario takes longer. <laughs> He's just fucking that fucking that flap sound effect when he hit the floor. What the fuck? 
Did I gain dominance over a human soul? Am I dominant? Yeah. A kid's yeah. hotel? Yeah. What the fuck? It's Quetzalcoatl, but I can't spell it, so I just, you know... I've heard that word before, I don't know what Quetzalcoatl is an Incan deity. Oh, right. No, I was thinking Quetzals. That's like a Latin American form of currency. And here we have the actual boss fight for Dark Chapel. Who is even easier than Dimitri? Well, I mean, Dimitri was like, it looked like all you had to do was just keep whacking him with your sword. I need to re equip my axe armor soul. Welcome to the Malphus fight, where I will take almost no damage. They really tried to, they really played up, like, the anime silliness in this, probably to attract younger kids to play this game. Probably. I wouldn't blame them. Frankly, this game looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, Malth Malthus is way too fucking easy. It's mainly because Soma's control is so very nice. I mean, the the uh, feather attack might actually blindside you, but but the dark spheres can be easily jumped over, and the and the crow spawn uh, you can either run away from or, or or if you're underneath him, you won't get hit by it. The problem with Malthus, of course, is that he's in a he's in a different plane than we are, so he can face through the walls. Twenty six energy balls. And who ruined the pipe organ? I want to say Malthus did that on, on his ascension. I swear to God, if I find that person... Pipe organs are really nice. Why would you break them? What's Ganondorf gonna play now? And Malthus gives us our next ability soul, the double jump. Yay, now we have access. We have access to this hoop earring. Hoop earring. Yes, the hoop earring is is, uh, is a mage buff. Uh, there are runs in the game that actually that actually don't use the melee weapons, or at the very least, use very low power melee weapons. And instead, once they have the ability to get like the hoop ring, they'll just spam bullet souls. Honestly, I can't do that. I I am way too I'm way too picky about my mana bar, and the, and if you end up doing that, you end up being very short on money throughout the entirety of the game. Well, it looks to me like you're doing just fine. You keep killing everything. True. I prefer going. I prefer going with a, with either a mixed or a straight melee route. Good at. Oh. And in the next part, we will be going. Um. Yeah. Outside of the dark chapel. Oh, I thought you were going. You weren't going to record over the video after it ended. <laughs>